Hello, just a quick uh, video here to answer a question posed by a uh, longtime subscriber to most, Tim. Uh, Tim's working with recycled water and is trying to figure out, uh, well, how much extra nitrogen is getting onto a, um, uh, an irrigated surface, but um, we're going to use lawn or sod as um, uh, or turf. That's what the landscape guys call it. Uh, how much uh, is it getting on turf um, from recycled water? Recycled water has uh, a higher level of nitrogen than regular water, um, higher level of phosphorus as well. And these are two, the first two ingredients in a typical commercial fertilizer. And so we are adding some fertilizer along with our uh, recycled water. How much? Well, that's, that's the gist of this question, and so we have an example here of how we would solve that problem. And we're going to use the regular water math. Um, in fact, we'll, you'll see a couple of the most water math uh, formulas incorporated here into this solution. So here uh, we are using an example of 1,000 square feet of lawn, and it is receiving one inch of irrigation water. Now, it's a very small amount, obviously, but uh, you can just uh, amplify that for the number of actual inches as you would amplify the area uh, to the uh, actual area that you're considering. The recycled water that we're using, uh, we're assuming it has a TKN, which is total Keldahl nitrogen level, of 20 parts per million milligrams per liter expressed as nitrogen. There's a lot of different ways we can measure nitrogen. Uh, TKN is probably the, the, uh, the broadest measurement. And we can express nitrogen in many ways as nitrogen or as nitrate. Um, and we're just assuming here it is being expressed uh, simply as nitrogen. Uh, those are things to consider when you are doing uh, an actual calculation. So, that's our question. Where do we go from here? Well, remember our uh, most approach to solving math problems. The first is to read the problem and then to read it again because it can sound different the second time you uh, approach it. Maybe you need to read it three or four times before you are clear on what the problem is asking of you. The next thing we need to do is simplify the question. Instead of that paragraph that we just saw, let's get it down to two or three or four words. In this case, it's how many pounds of nitrogen are being applied. So when we see this uh, question, it directs us to the next step in solving our math problem. It's a pounds formula problem. That's the formula we're going to use, and we know that because the um, question deals with a chemical, nitrogen in this case. Now once we have identified the formula, then we need to look at the formula and find the other variables in the formula. We'll have our one unknown, in this case pounds, that we're trying to find. And then we'll have to examine the other variables and see if we have those or if we have to do a little work to get them. So here is our pounds formula. This is actually the static pounds formula here. We're going to find how many pounds of nitrogen need to be applied. So to do that, we have to look at the other variables here. They are the milligrams per liter. In this case, of nitrogen, that's the 20 parts per million of the total Keldahl nitrogen. So we have that. What about the other variable, the million gallons of water that are applied? Well, we don't have that. So we're going to have to do a little preliminary work to get the volume of water that is being applied to this 1,000 square feet of, uh, of lawn. So that's our first step there. Uh, now this formula comes to us from uh, most course WM7. This is the uh, pounds formula as used with chlorine. What we are 
uh, taking away from that, even though this is not chlorine, um, what we're taking away from that is that this is the static pounds formula. Um, the difference is we are not looking at how many pounds of nitrogen are being applied every single day. We're looking at one application of irrigation water, uh, the one inch that we uh, have in this example. So every time this one inch is applied, we're going to get this same amount of nitrogen applied. But we had to find that million gallons first. That's the volume of water that we are uh, considering that we are applying to our lawn and so that volume will be the area of lawn that we are watering multiplied by the height of the depth of irrigation water the one inch now this is a second um, of our five key formulas at most and this is our calculation of volume area of the base times the height so that's what we have to do first figure out how much water we are applying and it has to be in million gallons because that's the only volume that we can put into the pounds formula. So how many million gallons of water are being applied to this 1,000 square feet of lawn if we use one inch of irrigation water? So our formula is area of the base multiplied by the height. Our area is 1,000 square feet. Our height is 0.0. 833 feet. Now what's going on here? Uh, our depth of irrigation is measured in inches. Our area is measured in square feet. That doesn't work. We have to use compatible units throughout. So we're converting our depth of one inch into an equivalent de depth in feet. So we just divided one inch by 12 to convert this into feet and that's how we got to our 0 0.0833 feet. Now when we multiply the square feet times feet we get an answer in cubic feet, cubic feet of water and it is 83.3 cubic feet that are applied. Well that's nice we have a volume but it's not in the right units. Uh, for the pounds formula we have to be not in cubic feet but in gallons so we'll multiply this by 7.48 to convert this into gallons. That's 623 gallons. The pounds formula requires it to be in million gallons. So we're going to have to divide this by a million to get it into million gallons. It gives us a really small number here because we're not dealing with a treatment plant. We're dealing with a lawn here. So a very small volume in terms of million gallons gallons that are applied. But now we have our volume and we have it in the right units so we can go back to the pounds formula. We have that missing variable now. And we can answer our basic question. How many pounds of nitrogen are applied? Now we have our um, or back to the um, uh, pounds formula. How many pounds of nitrogen are applied? That will be the million gallons that we just found, the 0 0.000623 million gallons, and multiply by the milligrams per liter, the 20 parts per million of nitrogen, times 8.34. So let's do that. Uh, 0 0.00 Oops, I missed a zero there. Uh, it is 0 0.000623. The answer is correct at the end, but I slipped a zero there. Uh, times the 20 times the 8.34. So a tenth of a pound of nitrogen is added to this 1,000 square feet if we apply one inch of irrigation water. So that's how we would solve this particular problem. A um, couple things to consider though. Uh, this is a very general example. You would have to consider the actual volume used and that would vary depending on how much you are irrigating and at what rate you are irrigating. The irrigation is usually measured in inches per uh, session, inches per month, inches per year. So the actual depth that you are um, irrigating with needs to be uh, plugged into this calculation. Uh, what is the actual nitrogen level? So you're going to have to get that from a laboratory analysis.
And as we said, there are different ways to express nitrogen. It could be as nitrogen or as nitrate. There's a big difference between the two, a factor of 4.5, in fact. So um, you need to be very clear on uh, what level of, uh, what units of nitrogen are you using? Nitrogen or nitrogen as nitrate. Very important. You can be overfeeding or underfeeding your nitrogen level by a factor of almost five by this one simple mistake. Um, we could use this same example, just modify things a bit and change the question to how many pounds of phosphorus. So that's the second key ingredient in commercial fertilizers. Uh, N, P, and K, nitrogen, phosphorus. We could do it for the K, the potassium as well, if we uh, uh, really needed to. Uh, but nitrogen and phosphorus are usually the, uh, the key ingredients in our fertilizers. <clears throat> and then ultimately we need to compare this with, well, how much nitrogen and or phosphorus are we adding to this lawn or to this landscaping uh, with a fertilizer? And maybe we need to back off on our fertilizer by a considerable amount if many pounds of nitrogen and or phosphorus are being applied through the water supply, especially important with recycled water that tends uh, to have uh, elevated levels of nitrogen and phosphorus. So uh, I hope that answers your question for you, Tim, and you know how to do that calculation. It is, as we saw, just a Another expression of the pounds formula, that's from most course WM6, but we saw um, uh, two other of our most courses uh, incorporated into this calculation. So good luck with your calculation there, Tim. See you soon.